In car-dependent cities, you mostly see car-centric infrastructures, which are roads, parking lots, highways, and literally any other kind of infrastructure that facilitates the ease of driving and storing cars. But what if I tell you that all these infrastructures are actually hostile to the car themselves, to the city, and to your own wallet? And what if I tell you if you love cars and enjoy driving, you are an important advocate for transit, bike lanes, and walkability and accessibility. Whoa, calm yourself down. Put away all your bricks and rocks. Let me explain. Car enthusiasts are great public transit and urbanism advocates. That sounds pretty ironic and illogical, but give us some thought. You love driving, that's your passion, but that doesn't mean everybody has to drive. When I first talked about this, I received two different waves of opposite opinions from the car community, which was pretty surprising to me. But enough of nonsense ranting, let's jump into the reasons. If you have seen all the car commercials out there, you'll notice one thing. All the vehicles they advertised were cruising on empty roads, depicting a very comfortable driving environment. This certainly contradicts the actual driving scenarios of vehicles getting stuck in traffic, cutting each other off, or even worse, involving in accidents. Having fewer cars on the road will guarantee free spaces for those who enjoy driving. And one way to solve them is not adding more lanes. It's building better alternatives. As comfortable as it is, drivers are less likely to be involved in accidents while having a higher speed. This is the reason why the average speed of many shrouds is much lower than the actual speed limit. Since they are the direct and convenient route for cars, more cars will fill in the blanks, eventually turning that shrouds become the indirect and slow routes with all the driveways, traffic lights, chickens not knowing how to drive. But when the blanks are vacant, there are more space and more comfort for driving. I'm not saying we should get rid of all the cars. I'm talking about reducing cars with comparable alternatives. That's the first reason regarding convenience. The second reason is about the safety. Driving is subconscious, and the safety of driving environment is dependent on both the road conditions and the consciousness of the driver. As humans, we are neurodiverse, but one good thing to know that we cannot stay focused for too long. Admit it. There had been times when you, yes, I'm looking at you, have lost your focus while driving. Right? Don't, don't lie to me, I'm looking at you. This means that we're susceptible and vulnerable to accidents, and when a sudden situation occurs, we don't know how to react. This is not to mention that drivers can forget rules and signs over time if not retested, and don't tell me you have never seen someone run a red light, stop sign, or fail to slow down in a lower speed zone. Meanwhile, public transit operators are highly trained to operate vehicles in a safe manner, and they are consistently told to put not just their safety, but other commuters and riders' safety as their top priorities when working. Some other alternatives like subways, or bike, or pedestrian pathways are even completely separated from the car's routes, which further reduces the chance of conflicts. If you say you would take the risk, well, you're not bringing your favorite thing to its peak. And last but not least, advocating for better alternatives to driving is beneficial to your own mood and experience. Seriously, ever drove down roads that feel like you're faced during puberty because of all the potholes and uneven surface? I know, that, 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 that was mean, but yeah, that's not because of the cold weather, that's because of the pressure too many cars applied on it, because that's how physics work. Having fewer cars means the road's surface undergo less pressure, resulting in a better quality and also less money spent on maintenance, which ultimately reduces the maintenance and repair cost and road closures due to constructions. This is cost effective for the municipality and your tax can be well spent on something better. Furthermore, not everyone knows how to drive properly, and not everyone knows how to deal with their anger, so having fewer drivers on the road surely decreases the opportunities for road rages, fights, and dash cam videos about accidents that boil your blood to happen. Advocacy is not easy, but if you want to have a better condition for yourself and people you love, you can't neglect a problem and let it slide. 
because if a small problem is not properly solved, it will certainly escalate, and by the time it has gone beyond a boundary, it will hurt you more than it should. Cars in cities and lack of transit service is a small problem that belongs to a bigger problem of car dependency. Car dependent infrastructure is already a big problem and it's only getting bigger. So it's your decision to gain control of this or not. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next videos.